In this chapter of the course, we're going to take a look at how we can build the header section of our monoplate layout. What I'd like to do is quickly come back to Photoshop. And inside of Photoshop, we can see the completed layout. If you notice up here towards the top, we were able to reproduce this top section. If we take a look at this inside of a web browser, we can see what we finished in the last chapter. And we can see that we do, in fact, have that top section. Now, looking at this, one thing is different. If we take a look at the icons here, we have Twitter and Facebook. But if we come back to Photoshop, we can see that it's actually Facebook and Twitter in terms of the order in which they should appear. So let's just come back into our HTML editors and take a look at the CSS. My guess is down here towards the bottom, we have a mistake, and we do we have the class defined the same in terms of its name, its ICO Facebook, where this one down here towards the bottom should be called ICO hyphen Twitter. I'll go ahead and save this. And once I save it, I'll come back to the index page and preview it in Chrome. And when we do, we can see that those icons are swapped. So here's what we had earlier. This is what we have now that we updated that class name. So what we want to do now in this chapter of the course is build this header section. And this header section has a gradient background. It also has a logo over here on the left and has some links over here on the right. In order for us to build this out, of course, we need to make sure that we have the proper HTML structure. And that's what we're going to do in this movie. So let's come back to our editors. And inside of the index page, what we want to do is build the structure for that header section of the layout. Now, if we take a look at what we did in the last chapter, we created this div element called top. We nested another div element in there called container. So we're going to follow that same structure, and we're going to create a new div element. And this div element is going to have an ID of header. So go ahead and type in ID, and then I'll type in header. Now what I like to do is I like to take the closing tag and move it down onto a separate line, making it a little bit easier to read the code. After we have the header div element, what we want to do is create another div element. And this div element is going to have a class attribute. And we're going to use the container class, the same class that we used for the previous div container up here in the top section. So I'll go ahead and make sure that I close that tag off. And inside of container, what we want to do in this case is actually create two more div elements. This first div element is going to have an ID attribute. And the ID attribute is going to be logo. Of course, this is going to be the container to hold the logo, which means we want another div element to hold the navigation system on the right hand side. So I'll go ahead and type in div. And we're going to give this an ID of menu. And then we can make sure we close this div tag off. So right now, we really don't have anything except the HTML structure. In the next movie, what we'll do is start looking at how we can create these IDs and classes in CSS so we can display not only the gradient background, but also the logo on the left hand side, this monoplate logo and this menu system over here on the right-hand side.